Hello. I'm using my phone today because I don't feel like getting my GoPro out and doing all the stuff that has to be done to make it happen. Plus, Luna. So last night I had tarantula drama because I am do stupid things sometimes. But I... Bye, Luna. Quit being a jerk, Luna. I gave her some whipped cream and she just, she doesn't even looking at it. But, um, <coughs> I'm still coughing. I've been coughing like crazy, especially when I talk, so I don't know why I'm doing this video right now. <laughs> Other than to just say hi. Um, I liked the, um, some of the comments that I got on the bath bomb experiment. I'll tell you about the tarantula thing in a minute. Um, but I really liked the, um, the sci underwater sci-fi. <laughs> it made me want to write a script and do like a little, put little plastic people or something under the water and do a play with it. I don't know. Not that I have the imagination to do all the stuff that goes beyond that, but the thought was there. <laughs> so tarantula drama. So last night I... <clears throat> I was gonna feed Morgana and that was the plan I was gonna feed her so I was gonna have a little cricket keeper and in the little cricket keeper there are little um, tubes things and the crickets get up in the tube and you're supposed to use that and look down in there and see if there's a cricket in it and be, then get the cricket and be able to put the cricket in with the spider <coughs> <coughs> sorry well, my stupid self takes the tube and puts it over the tarantula's cage and dumps all the all the crickets in there. So there's like five crickets in in with my tarantula. And I don't I don't guess they'll actually hurt her, but I'm I am terrified that they might cuz she's still little, you know. So I I feel so bad that I did this, but so I took out all of Morgana's stuff except for the substrate. She huddled in the corner and then I tried to systematically take the crickets out without disturbing her, without disturbing Morgana, but while just leaving one cricket. So I, I managed to actually do it. But it was, it was a ridiculous experience. And so, so yeah. Um, so I, I wound up, she stayed in the corner. I was so terrified she was going to try to run up out of her cage. Um, cause that's the last thing I want is for her to get out because you know I have a cat and that would just be, I, I mean, I'm sure Luna probably wouldn't mess with her. But you never know, right? So I got the stuff back in the cage for her. Figured out all the configuration of that. And watched her. Because she was on one side. And I put the stuff on the other side. So it didn't hurt her, of course. And so, in the meantime, I sat and watched her slowly make her way back over to where her stuff is now and stand in front of it and look at it like what in the heck has happened here <laughs> or she might have just been cussing me out and saying what an idiot I am for putting her through that again but um but yeah so she's back in there she's got things getting set up she's looks like she's been working all day <clears throat> sorry I'm not going to go in there and uh, bother her right now. <laughs> I already looked in on her and just, you know, make sure she was okay. Um, but yeah, also when I got home, I had Luna apparently had, I know this is so gross. You guys don't probably want to know this part, <laughs> but I'm going to tell you anyway. Um, but I guess 
she had gone to the bathroom and her poop got stuck to her and so she lost her flippin' mind and took off running through the house so there was just poop through the house. I mean, thankfully it was solid, it was easy to clean up, but I've been, <laughs> I've been in there with her and she's done that where she just loses her mind and she literally just jumps straight up out of the litter box and takes off running and there's poop stuck to her. I know, I'm a crazy cat lady, but it's, it's funny, but it's not funny. Um, and then tonight when I was coming, getting, walking to the train, I walked to the train and um, you have to walk down the stairs to go to the little um, thingy where you scan your card, the turnstile or whatever. And all of the turnstiles had a sticky note over them that said, sorry, does not work. And so I walked up to the woman and she was telling a bunch of the other people um, that, yeah, that the train's down, that the train's not working or something and that we have to go to another stop. So I left, went out of the subway, and I this guy, when, as I was walking out, this guy said, is the train still not running? And I said, yeah. I said, do you know what happened? He said, yeah, there was a fire on the tracks. So who knows if that's true or not? I don't know. It, you know, when you run into some random person on the street, who, you know, who knows if you should believe them or not? I mean, um, I could probably look it up and see if there's something about it on CTA, but... Um, Anyway, so that was my day. Also, I did a training today and I coughed. I mean, I muted, you know, I muted myself every time I coughed, but I just kept on coughing and coughing and coughing and coughing. Uh, I know I need to get some sort of anti something. <coughs> I don't know what it is. I mean, right now, I just had dinner. I had a chicken sandwich. <laughs> I know. I don't know why I'm telling you all this. I had a chicken sandwich, and um, I'm not, I don't feel like coughing too much right now like I was earlier. I mean, I was coughing like crazy earlier. I don't know why. I mean, I know, you know what I mean. <sighs> so, yeah. That's how my day went. I hope you had a great day. I hope you're having a great night. Um, did you have anything exciting happen during your day today? If so, let me know. <laughs> and um, a big welcome to Sledneck15 and Paul Dolby. I will be watching your videos and stuff more often and soon so I know who you are and what you're, what you're about. All right. Have a great night, everyone. Bye.